My dear friends, we love you so very much, ask yourselves, dear ones, what would it take to be perfectly happy in my life? Some of you will have very specific answers. Some of you will feel happiness is out of reach. Some of you will say, I'm happy now. In most cases, you can easily finish one of these three sentences, I'm happy because, or I'll be happy when, or I can't be happy because, in each of those cases, the answer is almost always something outside of yourself. I'm happy because I am finally debt free. I'm happy because my kids are doing well etc. These are all wonderful reasons to be happy, and we celebrate them. We hope that you find many things external to celebrate in your journey. Some of you answered, I'll be happy when I get the job. I'll be happy when someone leaves me alone. I'll be happy when my kids or spouse or parents are happy. It is good that you look forward to things with anticipation. We encourage you to imagine all the good to come. Some of you said you cannot be happy because. I can't be happy because my parents abused me, and I don't feel I'm worthy. I can't be happy because I lost someone I cannot live without. I can't be happy because my ex took all my money. Dear ones, at these times, we send you comfort and soothing because we know you all want to be happy but simply can't find the way yet. It is wonderful to find external things that inspire your joy, but the most empowering statement you can make is, I'm happy because I choose to be. Sometimes, you can't honestly get there. We're not encouraging falsehood. However, we do encourage you to find reasons to be happy or content as often as possible. With practice, you will memorize the sensations of happiness, contentment and love and you'll be able to generate them from your inner world. In truth, you can always trigger these good feelings from from within. Sometimes you're willing, sometimes not. And that is okay, but deep down, you all want to be happy. Atten, due to your conditioning, you will withhold happiness from yourself until circumstances look the way you wish they would. For example, when someone is unkind or when you witness cruelty in the world, so many of you tell yourselves, I cannot be happy while this is happening. A more accurate statement might be, I cannot be happy about violence, abuse, or cruelty, but I can be happy thinking of kindness, upliftment, and peace. Is that turning your back on those in need? Not at all. Your focus on kindness, upliftment, and peace will guide you to be part of the 3D solution if you wish and inherently make you part of the 5D solution. Turn your back on the darkness of the world, dear ones, and turn your sights to the light that is there and the light you wish to see. There are plenty of people stirring up hatred, but so many more acting in love. Think of the loving souls often until you feel those good feelings rising from within. There are things you wouldn't want to eat that would make you sick, but there are so many more good things that would delight your body and taste buds. Think of those and watch your body react with delight to the inner stimulus that feels like health and love. When the outside world makes your happiness hard to find, turn inward. Think of something that inspires you a tropical beach, a puppy, or kitten, a loved one a stained glass window with sunlight streaming through and causing the colors to dance on the floor, your favorite car, God, and your angel's infinite love for you. There are so many thoughts of goodness you can think of, and while you are thinking of external objects, you are bringing them up deliberately from within to inspire your own good feelings. You are not relying on the outer world. You are finding the frequency you wish to feel from within, and in this moment, you are the master of your own reality. What good will this do? You may not see immediate change in your outer world, but you will have started the process of change. You may not yet like what you see in your outer world, but your inner world is a safe refuge from which you find good feelings to light the path ahead. If you do it often, allowing yourself happiness, contentment or soothing in the present, in spite of circumstances, then the outer world will begin to mirror the feelings you have created from within. God bless you. We love you so very much.